Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I'm MyZoo. I do pet vlogs, pet content, and informational pet videos. So if you're new here, consider subscribing um, at the end of this video. You can subscribe. If you guys want to see any of the things I mentioned in this video, they'll be in the description. And if you guys want to contact with me with more, my Discord link is in the description. And yeah, in today's video, we're doing a reptile room tour of November. It is November 1st as the day I'm filming this. So yeah, um, if you guys are new to my channel, this is great for you guys to see all my reptiles and all my animals and like where they're situated and this is also good for you guys who are already at my channel just to see how everything's changed over time you guys can look back at my old reptile room tour videos and just see how much everything has changed and it's actually crazy so yeah let's get into today's video entrance of my room has this sign beware of attack lizard this is also the entrance to the reptile room but it's also the entrance to my bedroom now first thing you see when you walk in is you see a wolf poster and you see my bed obviously but nobody really cares about my bed and my stuff you guys are just here for the animals so we have noah's bioactive enclosure um i will put some pictures up of noah on the screen but he's actually brooming right now in his little house in there you guys really can't see him but he kind of buried himself and he's brooming so yeah because this tank is really natural for him so he's brooming he um i do use overhead heating with uvb and they plant grow light and his hot spot gets about 90 degrees he has a black background on here for now but he will be getting a 40 gallon upgrade once he comes out of brumation and it's like the national geographic one with sliding doors so it's super cool he has this is nice slate rock over here where the heat heats up a bit so he can come and lay down he can also go under the log and kind of lay in shade or he can come out and fully bask or he can just go in his house which is about 80 degrees in there and then he has his snake point here and his like medium height i'd say because it's cold slash hot and then he has cork bark and stuff like that Nat natural substrate made myself but i'm going to be fixing it and um in the 40 gallon there's going to be way less like pieces on top more leaf litter less of like the moss and stuff um but this substrate does work great and then you can see how good the cleanup crew is this used to be a whole piece of aloe and you can just see the cleanup crew is kind of demolished that and then right here we have this water dish which i actually need to fill up and then we have um his type of aloe and then a, another type of aloe right here and then we have some of this cleanup crew you guys can see there's isopods and darkling beetles in here and springtails and also mealworm beetles you can see there's some mealworms here mealworms there mealworms there there's some mealworms isopods in there under the water dish, there's always a ton of isopods but yeah that's noah's tank he's got the black custom background and yeah that's pretty much all and then you can see behind all his cables and stuff um now we're gonna move on to the next animal Okay guys, so now coming over from Noah's area, you got my chair and my desk, but that doesn't matter. And then here we have my animal slash my closet. So we have some leaf litter up, up there. We have a drainage layer. Up here you guys can kind of see it's like some rocks for drainage layers. We got Eco Earth and Repti Bark, which is like my substrate mix. And over here, you guys can't see it's dark, but we got grape stuff foam silicone because that's for the custom background i'm doing my dad actually made these with me this will be linked in the description it was like um fish hide but i'm probably going to use it for the anoles when i get them we have a piece of cork here my diy substrate in here in this like little bin that like just weird okay. and then coming out of my closet we have my trash my play button for hitting 100 subs i made myself um some pictures of my leopard gecko noah i kind of just like this is not an exact representation of him and then my chris my betta fish squirt and then in here we actually have my betta fish squirt with my snail pearl right here you guys can see that's my snail pearl right there and then back 
here. I'm going to see if she'll come out for us. We have my betta fish squirt in this really nice tank we have. This beautiful Amazon sword here that's huge. We have a nice skull there. We have um, some Mary Mo moss back there. A java fern and... And there's my betta squirt coming to say hi. There we go. You guys can see her back there in the middle of the tank. Um, you can see her swimming right there. She's about four years old almost. So pretty old fish had her for a long, long, long time. But yeah, she's there. And then moving on to the next animal we have my hermit crab tarzan um that video will be linked in the description called meet my hermit crab but this is a bioactive enclosure it doesn't have any live plants yet but i will be um this is his freshwater dish i know i'm gonna get a bigger one he's got a saltwater dish back there two shells that i'm probably gonna get rid of and get new ones because it doesn't really like it this is a 10 gallon by the way and this tank's five gallon and noah's is 29 gallon sorry for not mentioning that we have a fake plant in here we have the cocoa climbing background which he absolutely loves um, I have some saran wrap on the top just to keep in humidity. And then we have his cave in there. I'll see if I can either put up some pictures on the screen of him or um, see if I can get him out. But I don't want to stress him out. We have some um, cork bark in here. And there's isopods and springtails in this tank. And then he has his heat mat, mat right there and right there. And yeah, I'll put up some pictures of him on the screen. He's a pretty big crab. Sorry, guys, we can't see him in this video. Most of my animals I'm not going to disturb. I'm just going to put pictures because I don't want to disturb them. But, like, this is how his little setup is. This heat pad is only on during the day because that mimics the day-night cycle. Because at night, it obviously is colder. So, up here is my crested gecko, Coco. Now, if you don't know, Coco used to be a super tame gecko. Um, if you're new to my channel, it used to be super duper duper tame. <sighs> now, this gecko absolutely hates me and is super skittish and runs from me. But... This is the, I think it's the 20 gallon hexagon Thrive Tank. You can see it's like, it's pretty big. Like it's, it's a decent size and it's like a hexagon. And let me go over all the plants in here. So we got some, don't know what type of moss this is. If you know, you can comment it down below. Another type of moss over here, water dish. Cause I've seen my Chris Gecko drinking standing water. Um, custom background that I did not make actually somebody else did. I got this tank off of um, Facebook Marketplace. Right here we have this nice long fern, which I'm hoping will like wrap around these branches. You can see um, it is a, I believe it's like some type of rabbit fern. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. Another um, fern down here. We have a dead piece of fern there. Um, Marble Queen Pothos growing up, hopefully. Big, big snake plant. We have this one fake plant here just to add cover until like these plants grow up and grow big. I just have that there until this like fern comes around and stuff. And then we have the Pangea Magnate food dish, the one holder, because she'll drink water off the ground, that's fine. With my bioactive substrate in here and a drainage layer too, which works great. And yeah, we got new growth on the fern. You can see that leaf back there. And by the way, I forgot to mention this is the biodude plant light, and so is that the biodude plant light. So yeah, I forgot to mention that. And then this tank, it's kind of like an exercise ships like that now moving by the way this tank is fully bioactive spring tilts, ice pods all that moving on to the next tank we have my snapping turtle crush my common snapping turtle i need to really start saying that she is a girl and as you can see she already ate today but she's begging for food for the thousandth time and she just has a whisper 40 gallon filter this is a 40 gallon tank by the way as you can see it's it's pretty big for her that's crush right there this is the whole thing so it's pretty big for a snap turtle but she will eventually be getting a pond do not worry um and then right there we have a fake plant because all the live plants i put in here she ate floating basking dock which i'm probably going to be getting a bigger size for her because she does bask actually i've seen her basking um 5.0 uvb but don't worry um i'm working on getting the tube uvbs so but that won't be there for that long, but it is a 5.0, so it's giving a little bit of UVB, but she doesn't bask too, too often, so it's not, and also I do supplement with D3 um, sometimes, so I mean, it's okay for now, and then we have our 100 watt heat lamp, which gets the basking pot about 95, which is perfect, and back there, there's a heater in the water, there is fake plants, her little cave that I made for her, that she doesn't really go in ever because she's not shy at all. She has one rosy red minnow in here who was in a quarantine tank over here for a little bit. Um, but I shut down the quarantine tank and he's was been there for like five months. So I just took him out. Um, we had some pothos growing in the filter but he ripped it out. 
Um, you can see this is a nice long, big fake plant. Oh, my LEDs over there, but you can see that's a nice fake plant. Her cave, some extra rocks in here. Um, and that's pretty much it for this tank. Piece of cork bark floating, but I'm definitely gonna add more wood and stuff. And that is my snapping common snapping turtle crush. You can see the colors absolutely super cool i'm actually having somebody i know well not know but like know in my discord draw crush digitally so that will be going on my wall with all my other drawings but yeah that's my snap Patrol crush and this tank has a huge allergy problem that i'm working on and then on this custom stand me and my dad actually built this is a 40 gallon breeder stand and me and my dad built it and spray painted the black it's made out of two two by fours i believe and it's like super super sturdy like look at this like it is barely moving. It shakes the water a bit, but like this thing's sturdy, trust me. And then under here, Crush doesn't eat that fish, by the way. It's been in there forever. And then under here, we have my 10 gallon community tank. Now, this tank consists of um, four or five guppy babies, I believe. You can see there's some, that one's really pretty back there. And then we have a blue rainbow fish, a neon rainbow fish, which has, um, Popeye, I believe, so I'm treating this tank. And then we have another one. This is a planted tank, by the way, and has like a cool riverscape, so the substrate parts, and I think it's like a river, and that's like a fallen log right there. I think it looks nice. We have some Anubius Nana, I think. And then Java Fern uh, Win Windolo. Java Fern Windolo, normal Java Fern in the back. Little cutting of Anubius, more Java Fern, more Java Fern. And then just a $11 light I got off of Amazon, but it grows these plants like really good. And you can see, um, don't want to blind you guys, but it has the blue spectrum too. You know how like good plant lights have three blue lights down the middle. Then you can see Crush's tank under there. Um, but yeah, this is just the plant light. It has a 10 gallon top fin hang on the back filter that actually came with that five gallon, but I just didn't use it. It has a heater. I forgot to mention my betta fish has a heater and a filter too, but it has a heater in there. Um, and then it also has... A bronze corridor, an albino corridor, and somewhere in here there is two more um, speckled corridors. But I cannot find them at the moment. They might be hiding because they can really hide really good in this scape, actually, which is nice because you want your fish to be able to hide. And then there's also a near right snail named Jimmy. I'm trying to look for those quarries, but I don't see them at the moment. They're probably hiding somewhere back there in the Java Fern. Um, but don't worry, I know this tank is overstocked, but when these guppies grow up, I will either be selling them or putting in Crush's tank, because Crush cannot catch guppies because they're so fast for him. Um, but I'm gonna, obviously going to keep that guy and probably like one other male. And then we have just this nice little sitting area here. And then over here, I'm actually propagating some moss that I got outside. I'm propagating it after cleaning it. We have, I don't know what kind of moss that is, don't know what kind of moss this is, just propagating it. So I can use it in future builds and future tanks. Now, I know this is sad. There's only two more pets left. They're actually not in the reptile room. They're my family's pets. So I'm going to go show you that right now. Okay, guys, this is one of my cats. Uh, we don't know what type he is. I rescued him. That video will be linked in the description. It was one of my first YouTube videos, so give it some slack. But this is my cat, so the rest of you guys can see. He's just black and white. And now I'm going to move on to my next cat, Shadow. Okay, guys, sorry for the loud noise my family. But this is my cat, Shadow. You guys can't really see her. She's just taking a nap. But do you want to say hi, Shadow? Um, as you guys can see, she has a pink nose. She's great and white. You guys can't really see her. Her adoption video will be in the description too. But, you know, it's kind of old. So, yeah. But just take in consideration that is one of my first videos. But you guys can see she's a really small cat. And she's super cute. So, yeah. Now we're going to move on to my reptile room for the outro. Okay, guys, I really hope you did go on to enjoy today's video. Now, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you drop a like, smash that subscribe button, huge thumbs up, comment down below if you guys want to see um, a reptile room every month. I mean, I'm planning on it, so comment down below if that would be of interest to you. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you do research, and this is my zoo telling you, I'm out. Make sure you do research, and I'm out. Peace.